Good morning everyone. It's Wednesday morning. We're going to come together and read this morning from Proverbs chapter 20. Uh, let's hear these words together. Wine produces mockers, alcohol leads to brawls. Those led astray by drink cannot be wise. A king's fury is like a lion's roar. To rouse his anger is to risk your life. Avoiding a fight is a mark of honour. Only fools insist on quarrelling. Those too lazy to plough in the right season have no food at the harvest. Though good if, through good advice lies deep within the heart, a person with understanding will draw it out. Many will say they are loyal friends, but who can find one who is truly reliable? The godly walk with integrity, blessed are their children who follow them. When a king sits in judgment, he weighs up all the evidence distinguishing the bad from the good. Who can say, I have cleansed my heart, I am pure and free from sin. False weights and unequal measures, the Lord detests double standards of every kind. Even children are known by the way they act, whether their conduct is pure and whether it is right. Ears to hear and eyes to see, both are gifts from the Lord. If you love sleep, you will end in poverty. Keep your eyes open and there will be plenty to eat. The buyer haggles over the, pr the price saying it's worthless, then brags about getting a bargain. Wise words are more valuable than much gold and many rubies. Get securities from someone who guarantees a stranger's debt. Get a deposit if he does it for foreigners. Stolen bread tastes sweet, but it turns to gravel in the mouth. Plan succeed through, through good counsel. Don't go to war without wise advice. A gossip goes about telling secrets, so don't hang around with chatterers. If you insult your father or your mother, your light will be snuffed out in total darkness. An inheritance obtained too early in life is not a blessing in the end. Don't say I will ever don't say, I will get even for this wrong. Wait for the Lord to handle the matter. The Lord detests double standards. He is not pleased by dishonest scales. The Lord directs our steps. So why try to understand everything along the way? Don't trap yourself by making a rash promise to God and only, counting, and only later counting the cost. A wise king scatters the wicked like wheat then runs his threshing wheel over them. The Lord's light penetrates the human spirit, exposing every hidden motive. Unfailing love and faithfulness protects the king. His throne is made secure through love. The glory of the young is their strength. The grey hair of experience is the splendour of the old. Physical punishment cleanses away evil. Such discipline purifies the heart. Amen. And we ask God to read, to bless the reading of his word. Again, Solomon throws so much at us. Um, there are so many different things that we could pick out from that. Um, there's one verse which links through to a parable which is told in the New Testament. Uh, it's verse 21. And, and, and I can nearly speak this morning. An inheritance obtained too early in life is not a blessing in the end. Think of the parable of the prodigal son or the parable of the, the younger and older sons. How the younger son wants his inheritance early. Basically wishes his father to be dead. How it's wasted and how that life is wasted. Um, but then how he has forgiveness. When he comes back to his father, he's accepted back into the family again. Um, yeah, it's an amazing parable, but there is Solomon um, in something that he says, you know, reflecting that same gesture, you know, if, if that, that same sentence, that same feeling, you know, wishing for something before it's your time, it's not right, it's not good. Um, but probably one of the verses with the most to it in one way is verse 24 
The Lord directs our steps, so why try to understand everything along the way? It's so true. Yeah, again, in the New Testament, we read, Now I see in part, then I will see in full, or in the original part, in the authorised version or the King James Version, um, now I see through a glass darkly. Um, you know, it, it's that sense that we don't understand everything that's going on. We don't under understand all our experiences, um, all our ups and downs in life. But we know that God will use them to bring us closer to him. He will use them to teach us and to, and to guide us. And that's what Solomon is saying in um, verse 24. The Lord, and that word Lord means God, directs our steps. So why try to understand everything along the way? The truth is we won't understand everything. The truth is we will never understand everything Why we live on this earth. It's not till we get to glory in the, in the heaven that we'll start to see the full plan. And in the meantime, we have to trust. So that's a, a verse about faith. So appropriate at this time, isn't it? Whenever there's so much going on in our world, so much which we wonder about, which we worry about, which we give off about. Um, so much which we think is being done wrong, and yet so many things that we think is being done right at times. You know, it, we, we worry about all of this and at the end of the day our worrying and our stressing doesn't get us anywhere, doesn't get us any closer to the solution, doesn't get us any closer to an understanding. God just asks us to trust him, that he will guide, that he will direct. So today maybe as you get stressed or wound up, as things get on top of you maybe, um, as, as things get challenging, just submit or just hand it over to God. Just tell God that it's it's too much for you and that you need him to take it off your hands and give him the worry. Knowing from that verse that it's God who is guiding us and we don't have to understand everything along the way. We just have to trust him. Let's pray together. Father, thank you again for your word this morning. Thank you for what it means to us, what it says to us, what it teaches us. Um, Lord, especially when it comes to us trying to always understand. We live in a world that's constantly trying to explain everything, but Lord, we can't. We need to trust you. We need to have faith in you. So Lord, help us to do that. Whatever things are on top of us today or this week, just help us to hand them over to you. Whenever we are so worried Help us to hand those worries and concerns to you, knowing that you are in control. Father, thank you that it is you that's in control and, and not us. Thank you that the one who understands and knows is the one who is, uh, who's got the hand on the wheel, guiding us through this course in life. Thank you, Father, now and always. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Um, back again tomorrow morning um, at half nine. Um, also remember, tonight at 7.30 is our Bible study. And then remember that tomorrow morning between 10 and 12 is our drop-offs for um, the Food Bank and for Simon Community and the Belfast City Mission. So Simon Community have asked for like, dry store foods, um, pot noodles, rices, microwavable rices, things like that which can be stored. Um, Belfast City Mission, it, Shampoo, shower gels, um, cleaning, you know, personal hygiene materials like that. And for food bank, they've asked in particular for jams, diluted in juice, um, tinned or powdered potatoes. Uh, again, details are on the little post on Facebook and on our website. But in the meantime, folks, take care and God bless. Bye bye.